Hi everyone, Clinton from Toriel here and welcome to another episode and today I'm joined by Mikey and Jason, our two members who specialize in all things Transformers as we take a look at the world's biggest ever Transformer, the Chaos Bring himself, the brand new Unicron. Unicron hails from the 1980s when the character made his appearance in the 1986 animated Transformers movie. In the film, Unicron first appears as a giant malevolent planet that eats whatever is in his path and along the way resurrects a near-dead Megatron. He revealed his surprise ability to transform at the film's climax as he attacked Cybertron using his giant robot mode. Now, a toy was produced in the 1980s, but it never came to market. Some years later, in 2003, Hasbro finally released a huge Unicron figure as part of the Transformers Armada toy line. This was a pretty good shot at making a Unicron figure at the time, but diverged a bit from his original 1986 appearance and represented the characters seen in the Armada cartoon. Still, it was close enough for many of us and found its way into many collections. It's also been re-released in a multitude of colors over the years with at least seven different releases. In today's episode, we are going to unbox this version of the Unicron, which was crowdfunded by Hasbro's HasLab division in 2019, and it's currently hitting markets worldwide right now. Unicron is the biggest Transformer ever made, standing at a little over two feet tall in robot mode and 30 inches wide in planet mode. He ships with a few extra accessories like a little Galvatron and hot rod figure. He's also one of the most expensive at 850 Australian dollars if you got in on the pre-order, and perhaps a little or a lot more now buying from other sources if you didn't. Unicron will be released in Australia in March if you pre-ordered in 2019 from EB Games, but our unit was imported from a friendly retailer in Singapore. If you didn't pre-order him and want to buy one now, you're gonna have to play games with some of these importers. We hear EB Games will have a number of units available for outright purchase, but nothing's been announced yet. Anyway, let's see what you get for 850 bucks. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to exit stage left now and leave you in the very capable hands of Jason and Mikey as we take you on this wonderful unboxing journey. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Let's go. I don't know if people quite appreciate just what is actually waiting under the counter here, but let's bring it up. This thing <laughs> is huge. Look at the size of that thing. He is, uh, what, what did they say? He was, he's 20, 27 inches tall. He's 30 inches in diameter. That's pretty much bigger than the box. So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's got the rings and stuff around mm -hmm. it, but uh, it's, it's, it's huge. How do you feel? Like, like this, is, this is actually your Unicron. It is indeed. Do you want to give it a hug or something? Yeah, I do. It's, it's something I've been waiting so long for and like it's been in my dreams for ages. Um, when it actually came out, um, when we actually knew it was coming, I, uh, I couldn't keep my eyes off it. it was, it's just a thing of beauty and um, I'm excited to unbox it with you guys. It is a result of a very well-publicised crowdfunding campaign. Hasbro went out and said, look, we're going to make a massive Unicron, but we need 8,000 people to support it. Mm -hmm. It didn't actually make it by its original deadline. They had yep. to extend the deadline, but then they started taking international orders. Um, we've got this from a, a retailer in Singapore who didn't actually place a, a crowdfunding pledge, but they did actually order 120 of these things. So Unicron is here. He is the Chaos Bringer made manifest. This is going to be the best representation of the character that we've yet seen. And the biggest. It will always be the biggest. There will never, in my opinion, and I don't think there will be a bigger... Give it five years. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly true. <laughs> yeah, there'll never be a bigger Transformer until there is a bigger Transformer. Okay? Special edition. Special edition. Let's talk a little bit about the box, right? Yep. So we're here, we're, here to, we're here to unbox this thing, so let's talk a little bit about the box. So this is no ordinary Transformers box. It's got your War for Cybertron branding up on the top, which is, you know, it's the, it's the, the current line, but there's none of the promotional artwork. There's, uh, there's no painted art. It's all black and white. It's actually sort of like the Generation Selects line yeah, in that it's, it's, it's packaged in brown cardboard. It's very beautiful. It's pristine. Um, it's like nothing we've ever got, um, had before. So um, I'm really excited that they actually didn't go like the normal route and they actually gave us a really pretty display in planet mode, the head on the back and spaceships and even, you know, Galvatron and everyone floating around. It's just above and beyond and, and what kind of what you expect for $850. I think we should start opening him up. Hi. What do you reckon? Let's do it. Let's pull this out here. And we're going to spin this boy around. And cool. I've got a very handy thing yep. in my pocket. No one trusts me with knives anymore, so it's Jason's job. I don't, I, no one trusts Mikey with knives after the last time. Yeah. Look, we don't like to talk about it. Yeah. Several, several casualties that day. In fact, I, I believe we're actually legally prevented from talking about it, but I'm going to trust you with that one and do that. Side. <laughs> Risky. I'm just going to... 
stand slightly back here. I'm, I'm at minimum safe distance for Mikey using a knife. Putting it away. All right. There you go. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's do it. Oh, that's more cardboard. There is more cardboard. There's, There's a lot of cardboard, cardboard in this valley. Let's go. There's more cardboard. What is that? You underestimate me. They have put the instructions in upside down. It's a bit of a rookie mistake on Hasbro's part, but mm. you know, um, we'll forgive them this time. Hasbro instructions usually black and black and white, hard to follow. I've heard very good things about these instructions. So, as you'd want for a, a expensive figure. Do you know what's missing from the box? What's that? The uh, little number that says like 1,758 steps. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of steps. We're going to start unpacking things. Yep. And we're going to put some things front and center on the box. First of all, we're going to get rid of that piece of cardboard. I need this. Yeah, and then we're going to. So it comes with two industrial kind of. Two big straps. Straps, yeah. You're just going to have to cut them open and yep. try to yank them out, but I'm not going to try to yank them out because that, we'll do it later. that's not going to go well for us, I think. <laughs> um, however, what we're going to do is, I'm, so I'm going to give you these. So, on the top of the box, the very top, you're going to find part A, which is uh, some of these planet mode rings. I'm going to give them to you. Do you want to open them up and put them down on the table? We've got A and B, so we're going to have to remember that A is over there. Yeah. And B is over there. Now look at that. That's only a quarter of the ring size. The points aren't too sharp, so that's all right. You look at this. If this was a normal Hasbro release, it'd be soft plastic, but that's that's hard plastic right there. Um, in each bag, there looks to be five separate parts, which we're going to have to assemble, which should be interesting. This thing, is this thing is the stand. The, and also, it has a little distinction of like looking a little bit like Unicron's foot. Yeah. Um, so this is the stand that is useful in both planet and in robot mode, I believe. Um, you can actually, fun fact, you can actually transform it, and they suggest you transform it on the stand. So yeah. you, you don't actually ever have to remove Unicron from the stand at any point. Um, that is that is one solid stand. Yeah, that, oh, that's heavy. That's nice. Another feature um, I have seen comes with a spare faceplate. You can store it under here, but someone mentioned that um, it's quite a loose connection, so they don't recommend um, putting it there because if you move the stand, the um, the faceplate might come off and might actually smash because it's only clear plastic, the faceplate. So that's everything from the top layer, as you can see when we take it out of the box. So I guess let's take off the top layer. Let's, let's take it out. So it does ship with... It's, it's the first Transformer that's shipped in polystyrene in years. Yeah. And that's to protect the fact that he ships as a massive ball in planet mode. Now, I can see a Unicron down. That's there. a very good looking Unicron it's down. It's going to come out eventually, but we're going to milk it for a little bit longer. And because there's a few more accessories that we need to get out, right? So let's start with this. That, that. That's, this one's part of the stand. That's Do you want to open it? I'll open this one. And it's, again, heavy duty, um, solid stuff. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Goodness, this has come out of a factory somewhere, and the plastic, the, the plastic paint fumes are amazing. Yeah, it actually smells pretty good, wow. eh? Look here. Heavy duty packaging. I've got D, uh, which appears to be appears to be a bunch of mold pieces. There's, it looks like it's a piece of a couple of pieces of a stand there too. Let's open him up. From some of the photographs that I've seen online, when he's fully assembled and transformed, there's some gaps down the right hand side, and I believe these might be some of the fillers yeah. that actually clip in to cover up the uh, cover up the holes that are left behind by yeah. some of the screws. Apparently, the instructions are quite good at telling you where to put those. So, oh, good. Um, yeah, so you're not just blindly doing it. There are specific places pieces to go in specific places. That's good because it's been like it's been a source of some contention the fact that there's gaps like that. So that's the face plate. That... Yep, that's the spare face. That's the damaged and... battle damage face. Yep, so they're the tiny slug figures of Hot Rod and Galvatron. Yeah. This is possibly, this is the thing that everyone purchases the figure for, right? This is Unicron's... Floating head. Unicron's head. And yes, at the moment he's floating because it's, it's disembodied. He's... Ready? Are you ready? Uh, wait. Which one of us is, one of us is going to do this? No! My destiny! You cannot stop destiny. my destiny! Oh, Orson Welles. Gotta love him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Off he goes. That is... That is a seriously it's impressive, a seriously impressive mold. I, like, I love it. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Really cool. Um, unfortunately, the one thing that all the fans are complaining about is they didn't paint the bottom teeth, which can be easily remedied if someone has, you know, some spare silver paint. Um, but that kind of sucks. You don't have to take his head off to transform it into the planet mode. So that's that's pretty cool. Fantastic. There's one more piece in the box one down more. there that I'm going to get you to get out. That one's C. So we got A, we got 
We got A and B and C and D. So these are the more typical rubberized plastic. So they're the hard plastic for those points, but these are all more rubbery. If you get this in your eye, you're pretty much gonna poke it out anyway, so just don't, don't do what I do. So we get four of these bits. Um, two of them have these circular bits on them as well. And yeah, that's packet C. Packet C. There's only one thing more left inside here. It's, one it's, more pack, left. it's packet P. Are you ready? Packet, packet U actually. Packet P, packet U, planet, planet, U, planet Unicron. Oh. He is, in fact, can you hold that up for a second? Let me get my hand down under him. There we go. Look and at that. And I'll get rid of this. Wow. And uh, so we're left with we're left with one giant, giant planet. Like planet. that is that is huge. Bigger than a basketball. And Much bigger. You know what? He won't roll away. He's a, he's a good little Unicron. He's a good boy. Yeah. Do we want to actually put the stand together and see if we can get yeah, get him on the stand? So the stand's relatively easy, I'm pretty sure. Goes this we have way. the instructions sitting on the table. We do, but that's how it works. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. It's not going anywhere. Does that fit? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like this piece goes in. Yeah. This is interesting. This is interesting. We're going to be defeated by trying to actually get this guy on the stand, on the stand. live. So we might take we might take a look at that and then. Uh, Maybe, maybe we'll cut into it later. Seamless, easy peasy. The instructions don't really show what to do. You've got to kind of mess with the bottom here, but we've, we've made it to, to, the, to the liking of getting on the stands. You, you need to make it, if you see it, it has to kind of look like this. So you need to actually, you need to push a panel in yeah. and... Two panels. One, the instructions one, don't one. actually tell you that. So they just say plomp it on, which you don't do it unless you want to break your figure. Go ahead. It's possibly the first fail of the instruction and it's on page five. Five, yep. There's a lot to go. Shall we, uh, put shall we on. place him on So now we can place ready? him on, yep. You so need to give me a hand here. I I'm will. Gonna, I'm going to pass that half over to you there. All right. Here he goes. And then... That needs to go further. There, there we, we go. go. That is, that's pretty sturdy. Like. That's very sturdy. Yeah. To get the horns out, you actually need to open a couple of panels up. We're not going to do that right now, but at least we've managed to, we've managed to take a bit of a look at what's in the box. It's been a bit of a harrowing ordeal, but we have managed to get the, get the planet onto the stand. Even though there's a lot of panels and everything, um, it feels sturdy, to be honest. Um, I was really manhandling it before, as you probably saw, um, but I feel like it's something that can be manhandled. I think it's actually really, really well done. And, the, you know, the fact that they um, didn't ship it with all these pieces connected um, shows that, you know, they really care about durability and the, and the plastic and everything. All right, let's follow some instructions. OK, so first job is to get the horns around the right way. It says literally rip the whole side of this off. So you try ripping your side off. I'm going to try ripping. So just right. the whole. See here. Oh, is it? Yeah, you got to rip yeah. the whole hemispheres off, I guess. Is there a part that I'm meant to push to just, get it out? Just you know, there you go. Just go like that. Just start from the side. And piece of advice when you're dealing with a giant sphere, just go from that. Go from here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now you will notice there's lots of joints on these things. They're apparently quite durable. So don't. Like there's many hinges and things in this in this unicron. Yep. There, hey, there we go. All right. All right. So that's part one of the horn <laughs> of the horn situation. So we've opened it up this way. So now we grab the horns out. Is yeah. simply yeah. just yeah. flip them around. Yeah. There's these big old horny horns. Mm -hmm. All right. That's it. Now we put on the planetary uh, the kind of tower spike things that he was known for. So there's a there's a hook. Oh, there, I mean there's a couple of lugs on this. And they actually just... Right at the base of the horn, you can actually attach that and it'll allow for some movement. There we go. There just, we go. It's a quite a tight, it's a tight clip, but you've got to clip them both in. Okay, because it helps to lift up the shoulder. Yep, done. All right, All right cool. that's done. So that's the first planetary ring kind of thing. Do we have to then do the other ones? The other yeah. two, so here's... One goes one way, one goes the other? Yeah, so this side goes on this side, so the... the Hinge going down goes here. Oh, is it just is it lock around yeah. the orange part? Okay. Very fiddly, this guy. <laughs> a minute ago it was sturdy, now it's fiddly. Oh no, it's <laughs> it's sturdy, but you got a you got a lot to deal with. All right, that's the uh, towers on the side, and um... so 
So can we uh, can we put him back together now? It looks like we can. It says put a thing on the thing. <laughs> you know what? We've got these two. Oh, that's it. That's the thing. Piece that's the pieces. Okay, so we just chuck them on. You chuck yeah, them on. Like oh, it. on the side here. Right, put okay. Little, put this. I thought it was the back. Chuck it. And then you chuck that one on the other side. Oh, I see. Uh, so there's a, there's a light. There's a, little, there's a din indentation that tells you the right way to put it. So we're good. We're getting there. Now we just put him back into his vanity mode, and then it looks like it gets a bit easier from there. So yeah, well, this is like if you if you're not that interested in the rings that are around him, this is pretty good, right? Like, you've got the mouth, you've got the horns, and you've got the the pointy bits sticking all out around the planet. You can very much display it like this if you are happy with it. It's all good. It's durable. <laughs> it's really hard to do it from this height. It actually is it's, not easy. He's, he's yeah. tall. He can do it. I can't. Can you get these logged in, please? I can try. I'm a short human being. It, it really doesn't help. Unicron's like my height, so, you know. Apple box. <laughs> <laughs> give you an apple box. Actually, you know what? That's the same. Will I break this? No, yeah, it's, 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 the, no. it's the same on both sides. Goodness me, you've become tall. I am tall now. Yeah. <laughs> Is it done? It's all done. I think it's done. Flawless. Easy. Can oh, be done okay. by one human... Look, look, look at the back. <laughs> can be done by one human being, yes, easily. It's durable enough that you can just give it a, just give it a bit of a punch. Just, it, just so punch him. It is not as fragile as you would think for an $850. A big ball. You, you think a ball transform will be fragile? He's not fragile. You can punch things into space, it's all good. You might have to stand on boxes, but it's all good. Uh, Next page, we've finished this page, we've we're done. We've finished this page, good work, guys. Right. It's time for the rings, thank God. Grab yourself, grab one of these. You've got bag A over there. I do? So okay, we've got bag A. I've got bag B. Let's get rid of some cardboard. Mm -hmm. So this is not going to be really collectible because these cardboard pieces won't be intact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the pieces as they're pictured in the instruction in this tiny little thumbnail is about this size. And that will give us some hint as to how this actually goes together. Mikey's having more trouble with it. We got there, guys. It's all good. I beat, I beat the little bit of cardboard. All right, so we got... Um, sh that doesn't look like it. Pardon the French. Um, all right, you grab this pointy bit that looks like a finger and you chuck it in here. Effortlessly. Effortlessly. All right, now you have this, apparently. And then this, there's a tab here and a hole here. There you go, marry it up. You put it in there, you shove it in, just, just, just really... Is, that the, is this just, the right thing? Yeah, abuse it, just bash it. You sure? Bash it in there, just push it in. It's my toy, I, I kind of want to break it at this point. So it's a, so it's a, it's a, there's a, a mushroom? It's a mushroom system. Yeah, yeah. You, you need mushrooms to do this transformer. Now, we grab this section. These two pieces, so you've got your big hole here, and you've got your thing there. <laughs> up. And then, there you go. That's looking good, that's looking nice. This, this is gonna be like this. So, so this, is, this piece is essentially done. We get these two massive pieces, well, not this one. And then, hole, peg, oh, a little bit of force needed. So guys, can I ask you a question, just yeah. off camera? Mm. Um, do you have to have it in planet mode first, then change it to robot mode in, in that, on that stand like that? Like, it's designed to stay like this, transform on the stand and be... Essentially, they could have glued it to the stand, but for you, obviously, there's no way of standing up the planet, like, without the stand, obviously. OK. Um, the robot mode can stand on its own, but, like, with this, guarantees it won't so you transform that into robot mode on the stand? Yeah, yeah you, you, you... You can. It stays up his ass, essentially. Okay. It's, okay. it's up his ass. Up his ass, yeah. right, I got it. Uh, it's, there's no better way of putting it. There's literally something shoved up his ass. These ones? Here we go. These ones in here. Okay, like that. And that's half your ring right there. It's a good thing I've got the other half of your ring right here. Nice. Now, you look, look at that. Are you going to put that on? <laughs> there we go, mate. Stanley knife, Stanley knife. How do these go together? All right, so all the instruction says is to put this up his cloaca. All right, that looks like it. There we go. Okay, and then these will join together and do the same thing on the other side. Yep. All right, so that goes in there, I assume. And then these, these parts must join together down here. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. And up there. So just shove him in there. Yeah. 
So figure out how to join those two together up there, and I'll figure out how to join them down here. It just clips together. Okay. Oh, and the part we're missing is that this part has to actually go into the holes. Yeah, I did that, yeah. All right. That was not smooth. No. No. It's kind of the first time we've done this. Yeah, oh, we, wouldn't, we, we wanted the experience to be as real and authentic as possible. You will drop a couple of F-bombs. You will get angry. Um, but honestly, just looking at it now and just even just touching it, it's worth it. It is. So what we figured out along the way is that a, there's a couple of things that are not as straightforward in the instructions as you would like them to be. Definitely. But also, it, it is pretty durable. And we've said this a couple of times, yep. it's pretty durable. You can give the panels a bit of a shove you if they don't it. line up. And Straight up punch it. Once you figure out how panels are meant to line up, then I think pulling things apart and moving things around is going to be a lot easier. We got the ring assembly done yep. fairly straightforward. That was easy. They lock in there, there, there. The, okay, the to side. be honest, this I don't feel like this kind of just loosely stays in here. The thing that keeps it is this part, really these part, and then locking in, and it just it creates a circle. Please don't do this by yourself. Um, don't try this at home. Don't do this at home, or you will pull your hair out. Just look look at it compared to a he's a, he's a giant human being, and look at it compared to him, you know. Uh, I'm a small, I'm a relatively average human being, so. Um, you're a hobbit. I'm a hobbit, yeah, thank you, Clinton. You're, you're, just, uh, you're just full of wisdom and nice, niceties. We also recommend, or at least I do, not doing it on such a high surface. Maybe do it on the floor. Um, also, any worries about this thing falling off, like, like, look at that. That's, it's not coming off. It's too far shoved You should have seen in. what happened on the previous take. <laughs> it, it's not going anywhere, you, you're good. This is a fan, like, Kudos to Hasbro, Takara, whoever's involved. Um, the stand is phenomenal. And again, you can actually... You don't have to remove it from the stand. You, don't. you manoeuvre it around and you can do it. No no, no removing required. Do you want to go around the front and show us some of the gimmicks? Of course, yep. Uh, I mean, there's, so the big gimmick is, of course, the, the teeth rah, yep. opening up. And so that's done by rotating the uh, so. circle outside the, outside the mouth. Just go like that. That's sick. I'm sorry, that's epic. These move. Um, as much as you want them to. That's about it for Planet Mode gimmicks. You, again, come with the pieces to fill in, a little bit of uh, screw holes, separate chin. Um, so this is the um, s separate chin that is included. So Uni Unicron's chin differs according yeah. to where you've seen him in the in the past. So yeah. sometimes he's got a, a sort of a split goatee chin, and sometimes he's got a single a single piece with a with a kind of blue plate in the middle. Or oh, another thing um, that's a bit disappointing, which kind of works for the figure. See this blue piece here in the more that's all supposed to be yellow. I personally am more forgiving of this than the teeth, because like honestly. If you look here at the teeth, you got top row silver, bottom row blue. That's not really forgivable. But this kind of breaks up the colour and I kind of like it a bit more. You also do have the Autobot shuttle here and your two slug figures. Cool, but again, as we actually mentioned off camera, they're not really to scale because these two figures are too big to fit in the shuttle realistically. And the shuttle should be the size of the eye because that actually smashed into the eye. The main appeal of this thing is it's huge and it's awesome. So yeah. It's been an experience getting this guy out of the box and actually setting it up. But it's actually not it's not actually that difficult. You figure out how to put the, put the stand on, you take the side panels off, you flip the horns out, attach these pieces, then you put the rings together and you're done. But not demonstrated in the instructions whatsoever. So I heard the transformation bits good. Like no one, no none of the videos that I've looked at so far said described this process. So um, do take this apart, then take the bottom apart, push the two panels in, and then you're allowed to put it on. Don't just cram your Unicron on this, or then it'll just be broken. It's been a late night for us, so we're going to sign off. Which means, thank you, Mikey, for joining me for the first time on Toy Reel. Thank you for having us on Toy Reel for the first time. We hope you like the Transformers content. We hope you like the hosts. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward, to, looking forward to coming back very soon. Yeah. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more entertainment from Toy Reel. <laughs>